Part 1. Everything. Evelyn Wong, Yo, is a Chinese-American woman who runs a suffering laundromat along with her husband, Waymond, Quan. The commercial enterprise is being audited via the IRS, which has brought about rising tensions on the eve of the Chinese New Year. Furthermore, her father, Gong Gong, Hong, has just arrived from China and is dwelling with them. As she kinds the receipts at the eating room desk earlier than their IRS appointment, she does not word Waymans tries to serve her divorce papers. Her daughter, Joy, Shu, and her girlfriend, Becky, Medell, arrive, as Joy is supposed to help breach any language variations at the IRS meeting. Evelyn remains suffering to accept her daughter's lesbianism and is reluctant to introduce Becky to Gong Gong. After he comes down the stairs into the laundromat at the same time as she is managing a patron, Evelyn introduces Becky as Joy's good friend, causing them to hurricane out. In the IRS building elevator, Wayman's personality changes while he's in brief taken over by means of a model of himself from the Alpha Universe. Upon being linked to a headset, Evelyn sees an overview of important moments from her existence. Her father's disappointment at having a daughter, meeting Waymond, her family renouncing her for marrying him, shopping for the laundromat, and having joy. Alpha Waymond explains that each decision creates a new parallel universe and that they may be in risk, then he offers her a listing of instructions on the again of the divorce papers. Sitting down with IRS inspector, Deirdre Bobirdra, Curtis. The Wangs are scolded approximately their stacks of receipts and tax-deducted objects. In accordance with Alpha Wayman's instructions, Evelyn swaps her shoes to the other fort, imagines herself in the janitor closet, after which clicks the inexperienced button on her headset. She is pulled backwards into the closet in which Alpha Wayman awaits to similarly provide an explanation for that she is an essential girl in his universe that determined verse leaping. Before he finishes his rationalization, but, evil Deidre pulls him through the door and breaks his neck. Back within the actual global, Deirdre is of the same opinion to permit them some other chance to turn their receipts in again by 6 p.m. However fearing any other assault, Evelyn punches her inside the face. Furthermore, she realizes that her instructions have been written on the back of divorce papers that Waymond had already crammed out. Alpha Waymond returns to combat off the security guards and take them to the break room. He explains that they may be being chased by using Jobu Tupaki a woman whose thoughts changed into overloaded and splintered after being driven too difficult by means of Alpha Evelyn. Now she can verse bounce and manage count number at will, but has emerged as a being of natural chaos and evil. Alpha Waymond explains that verse jumpers can get entry to capabilities, reminiscences, and our bodies of their parallel universe counterparts with the aid of performing a statistically improbable movement that slingshots them in the direction of that universe. Upon being attacked inside the stairwell through evil Deirdre, Evelyn is able to faucet into a universe wherein she did now not meet Waymond and alternatively became a kung fu master and film big name. She is capable of combat off evil Deirdre, However Jobu Tupaki tactics and Alpha Wayman is knocked out. It is revealed that Jobu is genuinely Alpha Joy, and she kills all the protection guards sent to arrest Evelyn. Jobu indicates Evelyn the, the whole thing bagel. Black hole that she has created with which she will be able to probably smash the multiverse. Alpha Gong Gong arrives earlier than Evelyn is sucked into the black hollow. However he desires to kill Evelyn to save you her mind from further fracturing. Waymond and Joy go back to themselves and are harassed by using their predicament, which Evelyn futilely tries to explain. Alpha Gong Gong tries to get Evelyn to kill Joy, but she refuses, as a substitute opting to grow to be more like Jobu in order that she can also have sufficient electricity to defeat her. Alpha Gong Gong calls all the close by verse jumpers to come kill Evelyn, 
but she is able to use the abilities and reminiscences from her multiverse selves to defeat all of them. Unfortunately, Alpha Waymond is killed by using Jobu in the Alphaverse before he's capable of kiss Evelyn goodbye. Right after, Evelyn's mind fractures from the strain of splintering herself and she or he dies. Part 2. Everywhere. Evelyn's mind splinters across the multiverse and he or she witnesses many weird universes. One wherein she spins symptoms for a dwelling. One where she has hot dog hands and is dating Deirdre. And one where a fellow Tapanyaki chef is managed through a raccoon. Jobu once again unearths Evelyn and explains that she isn't trying to kill her. Instead, she created the, the entirety bagel, to damage herself because she is tired of never being found in any person universe. She merely wanted someone to accompany her into the unknown. Evelyn stares into the bagel and accepts Jobu's nihilistic view that nothing subjects. She begins being cruel and uncaring in different universes, including using her loved ones, dismissing her obligations, and even stabbing Waymond. She almost accepts Jobu's offer to enter the bagel, however stops whilst she hears Waymond nevertheless combating for her. In every universe, even if she hurts him, he defends and cleans up after her. He explains that his optimism is not naivete, but alternatively a aware preference to be kind considering the fact that, that is how, he, fights. Evelyn resolves to combat extra like him and defeats Jobu's minions by means of sifting via the multiverse, discovering what's causing them suffering, and helping them locate happiness. In the tax universe, Evelyn confronts Gong Gong approximately his lifestyle's lengthy disappointment in her and sooner or later stands up for herself and joy. Finally Evelyn reaches Jobu and tries to tug her again from the brink, however Joy cries out asking Evelyn to simply permit her move. Evelyn does so for a second before pulling her lower back and telling her that she can always select to be with her, no matter everywhere else she will be. While Jobu initially rejects Evelyn's hand, she reaches back from inside the bagel and returns to embody her. Part 3. All at once. Back within the tax universe, the family dynamics are tremendously stepped forward as they put together to move again to the IRS office. Evelyn and Waymond kiss in the foyer, in what is in reality their first romantic moment in a long while. Deirdre appears inspired through the paintings that they have finished, but explains there's still greater to do before they are out of the woods. For a second, Evelyn begins to go with the flow off to check in on her different universe selves earlier than she is pulled back and grounds herself in her home universe. Thank you for watching.